Yeah, so I mean, in our stock selection framework, we look at the, to the to the themes that you talked about. We look at uh, valuation is a key key aspect of that. Also, market share uh, and technology sort of technological leadership is also key for us. Uh, within valuation as well, we look at uh, earnings and cash flow. So those companies that are benefiting from these trends today. So these might be multi-decade trends, yeah. uh, but those companies that are actually profiting it from it today, we've actually found some interesting opportunities within that. Last one from me, profitability today is important to you. Mm -hmm. That is a change of psyche perhaps, maybe it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a generational thing. We're growing up with these companies. We want them to be profitable now. We're not willing to wait for the profitability, yeah? I think it's, I think it's key because uh, you know, profit and cash flow help sustain R&D. Uh, so those companies that are generating profit today should be able to sustain R&D over the long term and that helps sustain their market leadership. Tom, I was poring over your notes here and I was looking down and it's all about cloud and artificial intelligence, future mobility, mm -hmm. autonomous vehicles and I was looking for Alibaba or Huawei or SenseTime or some of the Chinese companies and I don't see any of them mentioned. Yeah. Is that is there a reason for that? Uh, there is a reason. Um, so uh, at Eden Tree, we focus on responsible and sustainable investment, and uh, we do, as part of that, we don't invest in uh, companies that have state-owned state enter uh, ownership. Uh, and some of the companies within that have aspects of that. Uh, also, there's a corporate governance angle within China that we have certain reservations on. So for the, for those reasons, we don't uh, invest in some of those companies. I also look for Apple or Facebook, and I didn't see those names either. Yeah. Is there a reason for that? Uh, similar reason with uh, both of them, actually. Mm. Uh, they don't pass our responsibility criteria uh, at Eden Tree. Uh, Facebook, obviously, the huge issues that they've seen over, over data privacy. Uh, Apple, as well, doesn't um, um, meet our criteria in terms of stock selection. Just before we move on, what does Apple fail on? Uh, supply chain, mostly. This is quite a high hurdle to entry when you talk about new companies that are sustainable. And obviously, when you start to cut down on costs like mobility, you start to get an argument for a bunch of companies that start to have sustainability or impact benefits. But a lot of these new companies, and we've seen so many missteps in the processes of these new companies, so it's quite a small pile of companies you've got to choose from. Um, I mean, we've, we, we haven't found that. Uh, I think there's a lot of companies within, you know, the. the the uh, themes that Steve talked to, uh, they've been in the industries for a long time. Maybe they're pivoting, like Microsoft's pivoting to cloud in the last five years. Um, and indeed, in, in electric, uh, electric vehicles or autonomous so driving, these are companies the from the uh, automotive industry that have uh, right. transitioned. So, when, so on that basis, so we just pick out a couple of big ones around mobility, Uber, mm -hmm. Lyft, Tesla, do any of those pass the test? Uh, well, they, uh, Uber obviously isn't listed, so we haven't screened it from, from that perspective. So once it comes it to the market, it might, year, yes. might be uh, uh, lift probably uh, earlier by the looks of it. So uh, again, the, the same issues there. Um, and Tesla's actually a valuation call for us. Uh, we think what north of 100 times earnings, uh, questions about the sustainability of cash flow uh, and indeed market share there. So that's more of a valuation call than a responsible call. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.